Borrowing from God. Welcome to Nugget 377. What are we going to be talking about today? We are going to talk about something that we learn from what God did. Yes, we'll be taking an article from the Science News, January 2024. A new thermal fiber takes a cue from polar bears. I used to really like polar bears, and then I found out they're one of the meanest animals on Earth, right? You thought they were cuddly, huh? Yeah, well, I learned differently. They look so cute, but they're not. No. They are the largest bear. The Arctic's extreme cold is no match for a polar bear super insulating fur. Humans could one day benefit from a similar material, thanks to a new fiber that mimics the bear's porous hairs. A sweater knit from the fiber is about one-fifth the thickness of a down coat, but similarly warm. There have been actually many discoveries that man has learned about because of watching nature. Well, of course, God's the master creator, and we really can't come up with anything new. We just copy them. I know it's like the fiber optic rocks that we sell, the selenite you like site. That's just where they got the idea of fiber optics from. Like polar bear hair, the fiber's core is filled with thousands of pores, tiny pockets of air that help prevent heat loss, and surrounded by a flexible waterproof sheath. But unlike hair, which is made of keratin, the core is built from a synthetic substance called aerogel. Aerogels are ultralight, porous gels that are excellent insulators. Polar bears actually like the cold water because it's not cold to them. They're not uncomfortable, in other words. No, and when they're standing on one of those little bitty icebergs, it's not that the ice melted away. That's what they wanted to do. It's all rather interesting, isn't it? Well, maybe they'll sell these at all the shops in Alaska. Could be. We ought to get one just to get one. I need one half the time just living with you. (laughs) All right, are you going to be presenting more things that science has come up with or they think they've come up with that mimics what God has actually already put out in nature? Absolutely. There have been hundreds of things. Okay, well, we'll look forward to that. Thank you. Please subscribe and leave a comment below.